What's up, everybody? This is Angela here from Divine Houses, and today I'm here with Jonathan Abram from. The hey, that's what's up. And then what? doing here today? Um, today we are here in Compton giving away backpacks, school supplies, pretty much everything that these kids need to go back to school, um, trying to get them prepared and ready to go. And I heard you're Compton based, correct? No, I'm Las Vegas based. I'm originally from Mississippi. So um, last weekend um, I had a really great turnout. Um, I had a football camp down in Mississippi in my hometown. Um, we gave away about 400 backpacks and school supplies to all those kids. We had a free camp, uh, fed them. We had a really great time. Um, and Keyshawn is one of my really great friends. Um, he came out and supported me. So I mean, it was only my duty to come back and do the same. And you know, I ended up coming out, um, donating a bunch of stuff and school supplies, um, just making sure that I give back. Yeah, and what does that feel like? What's that feeling to just support kids and the next generation coming? Um, I mean, for me, that's the best part about it. I mean, you don't. You know, everybody needs somebody, you know, me growing up, you know, I had some guys in my life who donated and done things for me, so it's only my only right for me to do my part and do the same. And has football always been a passion of yours growing up? Um, yes, I mean, but for me, I'm more big on education. That's why I do things like giving back to the school, making sure um, they have supplies. Um, my, my foundation, we implement programs and things like that into schools. Because um, one thing a lot of people don't know is um, I graduated salutatorian in my high school. So for me, football was a great um something to rely on but for me it was more so about education and then um, I asked this question before too where do you stand on when people say it's more gain from a book or from experience so like I mean I feel like it's more so it's to each his own I mean I learned a lot from books I learned a lot from experiences I learned a lot from seeing things I mean so for me many people learn many different ways so you know you have to figure out what works best for you and go with that so I mean, what trial and errors that you went through just coming up to this professional level Mm, I mean, a lot of things. I mean, I'm going to the University of Georgia at first, ended up taking a step back, going to junior college, and then going right back to um, Mississippi State, uh, another D1. Um, so, I mean, a lot of times you have a lot of trial and error that happens throughout the course of your life, but the biggest thing is just keeping your head down, working, and just pushing through it. And then what's your overall vision for yourself, whether it be as an individual or as a professional football player? Uh, for me, I just don't, I don't really worry about um, anything solely. I just worry about being a great human being every single day and just being the best that I can be. Yeah, and what are some things that you try to implement throughout life just to spread that positivity? Um, just making sure, you know, I'm telling people, you know, like I said, just work hard. And if you work hard and believe in what you want, then you can get whatever you want out of life. Yeah, I like to say we should just start complimenting each other. At least one person, you walk by somebody, oh, I like your shoes, or have a nice day, or stuff like that. You should start that too. I bet a lot of people would feel like, oh my God, he told me have a nice day. See, I mean, y'all have to do that out here in California. Where I'm from, that's called <laughs> hospitality. We do that regardless. <laughs> Yeah, well, you got, you got to bring that over here. Sprinkle a yeah. little sprinkle a little happiness over here. <laughs> yeah, everybody in Mississippi is happy. When you go to Mississippi or down south, it makes everybody feel like family. You know, we hold the doors for everybody. We say thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am. It's just kind of a way of life. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. I'm, not, I'm not throwing shade on where I'm from, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, has your dream job growing up, you said it was always football. Was there anything else? You, you said you're a huge, huge education person. Yeah, so. I'm actually still in school right now. I, I ended up graduating from Mississippi State with two degrees. Um, I got a bachelor's in um, marketing and a bachelor's in, um, forget oh. my degrees. <laughs> um, Oh, business, business management, and I also did a minor in psych, and I'm also, now I'm currently back in school, I'm trying to get a bachelor's in um, mechanical engineering right now. Wow, so super scholar over here, and that's a stereotype you hear, hear a lot, especially for football players, you're like, all oh, these meatheads, da, da 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 How do you feel about those stereotypes? You're over here, a professional football player with all these degrees, and you're still in school. Uh, I mean, I don't really fall into stereotypes. People say whatever they want to say about people, and that's the one thing. You are who you are, and you are what you want to be. Dude, and just like learning from you, this is insane, because how do you even balance that life from practices to games to schedules and then still school? How does that even work? I mean, you find time. I mean, you find time for things that you want out of life. And if you want it, and that's something that I really want, so I make it work. Oh, okay. Well, we got two last messages, okay? First one to the youth, and this last one to the hustlers pursuing their dreams. To the youth, I just want to say, listen to your parents, because your parents know best, and you don't know what's right, your mom and dad do. <laughs> and then what's the last message? To the hustlers out there pursuing their dreams. To the hustlers out there, don't give up, even when other people don't see the dream. As long as you believe and you make it work, then it'll all work out for you. Hey, right over here. Well, alright folks, be kind, support each other, and keep hustling. We got Mr. Mississippi over here. M-I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, I. <laughs> Raider Nation over here just went, baby. Thank y'all for having me today.